Good evening Andy, thank you for joining us after this 1-1 draw on the opening day of the season against Elkriston Town. Andy, how do you feel after that? Yeah, pleased overall. Um, I thought there was a lot of positives today. Um, and like I said, first game of the season, it's a lot of tension in and around it with everyone really within the club as a player, you're anxious as a manager, you sort of you want it to get going. Um, so we've got that first one out of the way, we've picked up a point, so we're on a travel straight away, you know, we're off the mark if that makes sense against a decent team. So especially being a goal behind, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take the point and we move on. I think we showed a great attitude really to come back from going a goal down after probably most people's view dominating the game. Um, but that's something that's evident in the DNA of your squad, Andy. Yeah, I've said that from the start. You know, we said this all week. We want people in and around it that have got loads of belief, not bad apples. Because when you dominate a game, as we did, and have the chance we did, ultimately you always feel there's a twist in it, and that's exactly what happened. But that, when you haven't got a good dressing room, you don't come back from that because people start arguing and throwing accusations. Whereas, to be fair to the boys, they just got on with it and they've nicked a point, um, which I think they deserved over the game. But with 87 minutes gone and you're a goal down, you perhaps don't think you're going to get one. But yeah, there's a lot of belief in there. That'll be like a win, win today because it came so late. Um, and it's and it's you know it's made them see what I'm saying. We, we've, over the years, we've all been, all my teams have gone to the end when it's been with Champs or Lambert before that. I've always had players that will fight to the end. And when it's a goal difference, you never know. You know, we're never going to give in. And they did that today, showed a lot of character, which I think I think the fans appreciate at the end. That was very apparent. Yeah, it was obvious, yeah. Um, you know, a win would have been ideal, of course. Um, but I think in some ways maybe not to lose. And also, um, you know, on the balance of the 90 minutes, to know that you're probably on most, most games, if you played that game, you would win that probably most times than you wouldn't. So... To come back is massive. I mean, to go into Starbridge next week, full of confidence as well. Yeah, I mean, Starbridge, there's a lot of tough games, especially early on. I mean, there's no easy games in this league. I've said that over the years. Every team's, you know, got good players. Um, so there's no easy games. Next week's another one, you know, tough, tough start. But to go there with a point as opposed to losing in the last few minutes today is, is a massive momentum swing, in my opinion. Um, yeah, every game's going to be tough. And it, but it is nice to get off the mark. Um, like I said, I thought we did well enough to win the game. Um, my gripe, if you like, at them was with, when you're on top of teams, and I felt we were, certainly for the middle third of the game, uh, you need to take your chances and kill teams off because the longer they stay in it, there's always that opportunity. And whether it was they broke and got one or a set piece, they're going to get one. That's what I said at half time. It'll be a set piece they score from, or they'll get a ball over the top and they'll score that way. But I thought we defended really well. They've got some good strikers. I thought we defended them really well. Disappointed with the set piece. Um, but, you know, like you said, we've found a way to come back, and I think that's going to be that's really important. You've had a, a really good pre-season, won six out of eight, you've seen a lot of a lot of different players, big squad here at the moment, big headaches for you. How many games do you think it will take for you to kind of whittle down what you feel really is your best eleven? I think I think it's gonna change throughout the season, that's the whole idea. I think today sums up completely, you know, you've got Dan Creedy, who for me has been a different class of this club, but I was able to bring him off with ten minutes today and bring a tie deacon on. That that for me shows exactly what I'm trying to do here. I want competition every place and you know, Ty's come on, he's disappointed not to start, but he's come on, he's competing with a keeper and he scored, so fantastic. I need that in each position. So I think the best eleven will change based on who we're playing and what system we use, if I'm being honest. But what I know I've got is I've got twenty odd good players also with a good attitude, who want to play and fight for this club. They want to work hard, they want to listen to what we're saying and they'll buy into what we're trying to do. If you've got that, I believe you can compete with anyone at this level. There were obviously some very strong performances out there. I'm sure you'd be delighted with it with quite a few of them. Um, but we haven't really mentioned Give Moosey yet. What a performance from that young man today. Yeah, he was everywhere. He does what he does. He breaks it up. You know, He's always on the front foot. Um, I thought he was excellent in there. Like you said, I don't really signal people out because... I think we had a few good performances out there today. Um, another day, I think we win comfortably, but equally we could have lost it. Um, that is the thing with football, it's fine margins. Uh, but yeah, coming back to Gift, I thought he was excellent. But say, there was other good performances. I thought the two centre halves was, I thought the back four was good, if I'm being honest. Very good. Um, I think we need a little bit more quality in the final third. And I include the centre halves in that from set pieces. I, I mean, as a group, we could have been a bit better in the final third, a little bit more clinical, and I think we win the game. Yeah, absolutely concur with that. Andy, thank you very much for your time today. No problem. Cheers.